What'd you find? I found some buckets, a Canadian tire. Actually, you did. <laughs> and a drill and a hammer and some spiles. It's gonna be an awesome day. Yeah, should we we'll tap some trees? Let's do it. Okay. We've only got six. So we gotta pick the best six trees. Oh, 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 where's the smile? <laughs> it's leaking. Is it? Yeah, this one's leaking pretty good. Exciting. Yeah. How deep do you drill it? This is exciting. I don't know. Maybe this is bigger. Holy cow. You're going to have a bucket by the morning. Oh, good, yeah. Hey, now which one? We're doing something we've never done before. So a lot of people have been making birch syrup. And so for a couple years, we've kind of said we were going to do it. Since we seen it on YouTube, it yeah. looked like fun. Yeah. And who doesn't like sweet things? I know I do. Why not do it now when we have all the other things going on? <laughs> But Chris found this sweet stand of birch trees. So we're gonna be doing this for the next couple weeks. It's kind of a fun way to spend some time together. What did you find? Some chaga. No way. Yeah. Double whammy. Double, fine. Where? Right here. Oh my goodness. It's nice and low too. Yeah, that's a good one. Looks nice, eh? Yeah. Maybe I'll leave the rest. I don't need all of it. That should be lots. That was sweet. We got chugga. You maniac. So if you're new to the channel, Chris and I have an off-grid property where we do all kinds of cabin things. We're building an off-grid homestead and we're in Northern British Columbia in Canada. There is no maple trees native to this area. So that's why we're out here tapping birch. Have you ever had birch syrup? Or maybe something a little different than maple syrup that we don't even know about. Let us know in the comments section. If you have any tips, if you've done this before, I'd love to hear from you because we are rookies. <laughs> okay, we'll come back and check on them another day. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, I do. Okay, so Chris started collecting this. You got me a drink? I did. It's got extra bits in it. Fiber. There goes nothing. It's pretty sweet. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's nice and cool and refreshing anyway. It is. It's kind of delicious. I guess you don't really need all those fancy spiles and hooks and buckets then. Just a twig and a whole fused water bottle. <laughs> I'm going to go check our birch sap, see how it's coming. Two days of flowing. Olive, how's that sap coming? Hey, eh? let's see. Two days, three gallons, just about right full. That's pretty good. Let's see, two days is too long to leave it. I should have brought two pails, I suppose. 
My five gallon pail is just about full. That's pretty good. You ready? I hope so. <laughs> okay. working out. So how many liters are in five gallons? 18, about 19. So we should be able to fit all three in one pot then. It's probably better if you run two. Yeah? Yeah, because you got more surface area. Okay. One and a half and one. And... Is it going in there properly? Yeah, really good. Okay. How much do you think that pot weighs? I don't know. How much is water per gallon? 10 pounds per gallon. There's five gallons. That's 50 pounds. 70 pounds probably. 70 pounds of birch syrup or birch sap. So you it's have heavy. three buckets so far. Yeah. And we're going to do it two pots. Yeah. Okay. It should give us what? 600 milliliters. 600 milliliters. If you like pancakes. Yeah. It's got an igniter. Really Does it? Yeah. down most of the way out there on the cook stove and then we brought home um, two liter drawers and just a little bit more than that and I'm boiling it down now in the kitchen to finish it off at home because we can't stay at the cabin forever so let's have a look and see where we're at now you can see that the color is super super nice it's beautiful um, and it tastes totally amazing like it's very, very sweet. I think it's reduced enough. What do you think? I think it is too. I think it's delicious. It tastes really good. So this is how much we got out of how much? Gallons? Fifteen gallons of sap. Gallons of sap. Yeah. Made how much? Can we just dump it in there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Did you drink it? <laughs> yeah, that tastes good. It's delicious. I don't know. If you let it go down anymore, it'll just get more bitter, probably burnt tasting. And that tastes pretty good. Yeah, so that's what we found is at the end it just kept getting like stronger and stronger and stronger quickly. Super sticky, very sweet, tastes good. Delicious. So we decided to forego dinner and have breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try it out on some fresh toast. Looks pretty good, tastes good. It's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. You just drink it. I don't know, get diabetes too. <laughs>
better than maple syrup? Do it again.